Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and we're gonna play Moram City of the Damned. So let me have a brief introduction of this game. This game is based on the tabletop game with the same name as this computer game. And that uh, tabletop game is made by Games Workshop. So yes, this is a Warhammer game. So this takes place in Warhammer Universe, so you can already maybe recognize some of the characters here. We have all these races in front of us here. So we are gonna play as Kaven, of course, because backstabbing, uh, fleeing and backstabbing people when they don't see it or being very mobile, which uh, you are as Kaven in this game, plays right into my playstyle. I like to play games. So, this is the guys I have marked over the years, so yeah, they was created by the Chaos Gods. I read something about it, it was, they kind of created some rain over a city, and then the raindrops hit the floor, and they was mutated from real rats. So they have all the qualities of rats, they are brave when they are outnumbered, and they are chickens when they in a fight. So yeah, that's a small over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a turn-based strategy game, so it means that, yeah, we will take turns doing everything, so it can be slow-paced, very fast-paced, it depends on the situation. And everything that happens to your rats while we are will having these rats will be permanent. We don't only have one save here, we can't decide when to save, so there will be some consequences. If one of our rats, for example, gets hurt, he can get consequences or he can lose arms, so yeah, he will be a one of the rats. So yeah, that's kind of uh, fun there. We will see more of that. I, I, what I briefly wanted to do here, while we are at this screen, this is the guys we're gonna fight in the game most of the time. There are some demons in the games too, but these are our main opponents. So why not give a small interaction for every different race here? So over here, we have the witch hunters, they, my experience with them, they hit very hard, they can kill your rats very fast because Skaven has really low health and that can be a danger, but I wouldn't say they are a hard opponent, I would say they were very average opponents to fight as Skaven. So, but yeah, they are fanatics, they really, yeah. Yeah, everyone is in this city of Mordheim where they hunt warp zones and everyone has their own reason for doing it. Uh, in our case, if, as Skaven, we just want to please yeah! uh, murder lord Skitty, I think his name is... Okay, so over here we have the human mercenaries. Uh, they are as humans usually is in all fantasy games. They are about average in everything, but they don't have any weakness, so they are really good at ranged. I think the range is units is the strongest units they have because there aren't many range good range units in this game. Oh! Here we have the heavy ladies of sisters sisters of Sigmar. Uh, they, as I said, they are heavy. They have heavy armor. Uh, they like to shield. They can use some holy magic, but they are very slow. Which uh, we as Skaven, we are very fast, so we this is actually a very easy opponent for us, uh, as they are so slow, we can really easily man outmaneuver those guys. <laughs> so, over here we have the Cult of Possessed, they are weird. Because they can have mutations, they can get extra arms and do extra damage, and they are not really hard opponents for us here. So, over <laughs> here, we have the un Undead people, they are my worst nightmares because their leader causes their wish can make one of my units run around in circles uncontrollably until he stops freaking out. And I really hate them. They're really hard to fight in the beginning of the game because your units are inexperienced and don't have a, most, a lot of resistance to fear and so on. An easy thing you can see here in the screen uh, if we divide the screens in two parts, over here we have yeah! the guys that are not chaos or evil. But it really depends on what side you are. If you are on the left side on this screen, you think this is the evil guys. 
on the right side on the screen you think this is stable guys so it really depends but we are gonna play as uh, Skaven as I told you before Mordheim Nest have much, much warpstone. Clannesin made trouble pain to keep other clans away. Must be swift silent, not let other clans know, no. We take feds all warpstone. Smart wise Skaven may take much power rank with warpstone. Keep steel from stupid man things and take bring to under him. Many man things in Mordheim Nest. Many other things too. All want take Warpstone. Make them die. Die! Sister things from Riverhide Warpstone under Fort Nest. Cult things take Warpstone to Demon Hole. Soldier things take Warpstone away to Baron things. All must die. Die! Skaven, with much warpstone rise fast quitting clan, become big great chief, much slaves, much breeders, much power, become warlord of whole borough maybe. Best quick trail to rank power is swear serve great murder lord Snicket. Snicket much wise, much strong. Most high underling of clan Eshens, revered feared night lord. Even in Holy Skaven Blight, they know of Murder Lord Snicket. Great mighty Snicket, best of all assassin lords. Maybe becomes Deathmaster someday. It is smart to serve Snicket and share his glory. Make much, much helping Snicket not crush our rivals. Why smart Skaven work with Filch, yes? Not never hear learn about Filch Sharp Tail? Hmm? Filch Sharp Tail, greatest killer in all clanation. Filch strangled Wilhelm the Baron thing and make it look like hungry troll ate him. Filch drowned Warlord Kripnik after his ship sink fighting dragon thing. <laughs> Pox Keeper Vile Breath choke on old plague when Filch drops big rock on his tail. Not never he'll learn about Filch. <laughs> Best assassin is one nobody knows. Be proud honor to work for Filch. Filch will let you find much, much wordstone for him. Great, great honor. Well, ladies and well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our introduction. Yeah, we worked as uh, uh, for Murder Lord Snake. I just think I just feel feel like the game is just hilarious. They are like, yeah. And one thing that is really cool in Warhammer Universe I, that I haven't seen in any game with the Warhammer Fantasy with Skaven is that they actually use tail weapons. They attach uh, knives to their uh, tails and fight with them. Okay, so Warhammer, yeah, we know that. Uh, okay, so this will be a lot of taking. Uh, you will probably get things as we are going in here. So, we are getting tutorials here. So here we have, here we have our leader. So let's start with him. Yes, I know a lot of, a lot of things to click at. Okay, so what I wanted to do was to rename in here. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, I found it. Our under customization. Yeah, there is so much stuff going on here. So I'm gonna name him to Skarvesha Beartail. So if you want to be in the game as a rat, you can always... I can promise that I can keep you alive, of course, as everything that is, we do is permanent here. So now we have our brave leader, Skavisha, Skavisha, Skavisha? I don't know how to pronounce my own name. That is kind of, uh, that is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I should probably thought about that. Okay, but we are bear tail, Skavisha, Skavisha. <laughs> I can't, just, I, okay, we call him bear tail. So I don't embarrass myself any, any more. So what we want to do is to fill our Warband, uh, that's how it works. We will go on to the city to, folk, to collect warp stones. So we need some more rats. We don't gonna want to go out alone here. So now we have this is a special character from the rats. We have heroes and henchmen. So this is a special rat 
I thought, what, what is happening here? I'm telling you the same things a uh, million times in a row. I don't know. I haven't recorded videos for three weeks and look what happens. Uh, yes, so we would get one of these. Um, this is our I can't, Night Runner. Yeah, so he's very fast. He's fighting with Claws. I think here in the beginning we will use Claws. We have mostly well resident one. Here in the beginning uh, we're gonna use what we have here. So he has Claws that's really good. That makes some more damage. Okay, so let's get some henchmen rats here. So here we have the Warp Guard. One of the more interesting qualities of Warp Guard. Every time you pick up a Warp Stone, you take damage. But these guys doesn't, so... But we, we, we want to have two of these guys. Yes, let's hire him. Because these is the guys I will use as our tanks. We are not very tanky as we are Skaven here. So we will take a lot of damage and so on. But, and their, their job is to take damage. And they probably will die a lot here in the beginning as they are not... Uh, Spect and uh, tanks yet, but we will use them as that. I will get one of these guys because they are fast on their feet. I use this guy, this kind of rat. Uh, he's Vermikin, and that's his warp guard. I use him as a scout. So that is why he has that outfit. So let's. And so the thing is, is you have an initiative ladder. It means that every turn starts to begin. The guys with the highest initiative will be starting, and as you can see, it's 56. We want that to be a lot higher. As we are Skaven, we have a natural uh, high initiative, so we want to raise that, and by when he's using all of his stats, stuff here, it's not really fast. So what we need to do is to exchange his equipment to equipment that makes him faster. So let's see, we don't have any stuff yet, of course, because we haven't been out looting here, but we can buy some stuff here. I think it will... How many spears do we have? One... Okay, let's go with one dagger. That will make him faster, as that is not much, so much to carry. We can make him even faster by uh, unequipping the shield here. As you can see, he's already... Equipped with a range weapon and shuriken here. I don't think we have a lot of use of this, but this almost guarantees that he will be the first to act you know, of the beginning of the turn, and that is the important thing for us now. So let's go over to our warp guards, and they, for the moment, there is no real reason for us to use spears here. I will explain that a little bit more later. Let's see if we have some two handed. Okay, so we don't have a choice here. This is the first round. I wanted them to have two two-handed weapons because you can see these red pills, which the community calls them. Uh, it takes two two red pills for him to hit once with his weapon. So it's better to have a two-handed weapon and hit one heavy hit because we can't afford a second hit. So I was trying to get them some two-handed weapon, but it doesn't seem like uh, that will happen. So what I'm also going to do here before I begin, because if you check all the rats here, they look alike. I will mix them up, so let's start with our leader, and we'll go to customization. Click on his, click on his cape. I want that to be red, so that's how I do it. He has a red cape, so I will recognize him. The warp guards will get green capes, because... Yeah, the warp gods and pick up warp, uh, warp stone, which is green. So let's see if we can find the green. There we go. So that way, it, they will be a little bit easier for me to differentiate between them because they look alike, especially in here in the beginning when they don't have. Uh, what's his style for? Yes, yeah, they look so much alike, and this helped. Uh, he he kind of looks special with his dagger, so I will not mix him up. Uh, let's give him a blue cape for now. And of course, if you want to be people here, we will. I think we'll do an episode after this one. So if you want to become a rat uh, after this mission, you can 
be become that and I will show all the customization of our rats here. I think I want to keep this episode under 40 minutes and time is flying by because I'm just doing all of this. There is blue. Okay, so we are ready for a flight because we have the right color on the capes. Yeah, that was every everything is happening. So okay, so let's go on to the town and find some warp stone. Okay, so we already have two missions to choose between. We have a normal difficulty mission here with the average warp stone and the poor one is other loot which I never care about because I don't have time. So, but they are different. Crush the will. One war band is called exploring the buildings while the other deploys tightly around the wagon. This is a really cool mission uh, because it's a 50-50 chance that we will be the guys that will deploy tightly on around the wagon. Otherwise we will be scattered all over the map. Yeah, that's more fun. That's a cool fun mission to start. Okay, so weren't we will choose launch and deploy. Believing yourself alone in what was a residential district, you spread your warband to ransack the nearby houses. Just as your warriors are starting to explore the buildings, however, an enemy warband arrives, ready to attack your dispersed forces. Oh no, of course I got... Uh, of co uh, it's kind of funny, I, I play a visc uh, the, the action part of the game, I play with controller and the other one with my mouse. So we are scattered about the city, it was lying a bit because we can see our positions here. Uh, the, this I'm currently pointing with my pointer thing is the warp stones we want to collect but here in the beginning we really want to survive mostly but it's a very good opportunity for us to get some warp stone. Warp stone can be exchanged for money which we can buy equipment. So this is a little bit boring part because I have to kind of look where I spawn. So this is our scout, as you remember, I took all of, of all the equipment and gave him a dagger and he begins, which was just intended. So this is a little bit of the part I hate even most because I can't do this one on my map and say spawn over here. I ha actually has to actually have to do this manually. So this is really, really boring, but it's important because in this game, as we, uh, it's a turn-based game, it's all about positioning, positioning and outmaneuvering. So you have to take a good, a good starting position is a good, makes things a lot of easier. So yeah, I'm still in this building. I will just show you how you, how I do it here the first time, and then I will kind of skip, and you will see when we start fighting here. So you see what I am doing here, it takes a lot of patience because you just want to place them out but I, I take my time to get as a good position as possible. So I will place him here right above the warp stones which we can see here from the window. So now I will place all his friends kinda close to him but you don't have to suffer through it, it's just me that I have to suffer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made a small mistake here by being impatient. One of our rats has been placed here because I didn't check where he was placed, so it means that he can become outnumbered here. Our enemy deploys in the same numbers as ours, so if we deploy four rats, they will deploy four rats. Or sorry, uh, four, four enemies, yeah, it depends what we are fighting here. I would guess we will be fighting, I, I can't guess what we are fighting here, and that is one of the things. So let's start with our scout here. His job is to find out where the enemy is, so we can avoid him here in the beginning. Uh, as you can see here, under his green health bar, he has four, five pills. I can go back and eat a pill, and then I can run back. So that is kind of what we want to do now. We want to go out and check if we can see our enemies. We have a long street over here. It looks like we will be fighting Sisters of Sigmar. We can see we have spotted someone, uh, so some of them over there. So, yep. 
That is really good for us to know. I see a cluster, which is one of those big warp stones over there. I really want it, but I don't want to risk my rats. So one of, it, it will cost me a, a blue pill to pick something up here. And I think I want to pick this up over here. Let's just see if we can... So we don't lose direction here. Okay, so we can go that way. I think I will go up the stairs here. I will pick up three warp stones because the Sisters of Sigmar is very slow. So I can get away with this. This will mean that my scout rat here, he will take damage. Taking up that, but I can take that. It can get a random debuff here. But this shouldn't be a pr big problem. So let's see if we can run him over here. Yeah, that's a good place. It will be safe there. So now we know where our enemies is. So my plan is I want those warp stones there. So I think I will try to move all my rats. As the, they are very slow, it means they are very slow in initiative. You can see the ladder up in the upper middle screen. You can see, and you see one of them at 25. So we always knew. And the stars on 25 means that's a hero. And 52 with a crown is their leader. If we can kill their leader, it will be a short fi uh, fight because that will give them uh, low morale. And we can lo lose. They will be so freaked out, so they will lose. Okay, so let's end our turn here. And turn. So we are a night runner now. I think he's, he's straight ahead here. So let's see how many he can pick up. They can't pick up a lot of uh, a lot of things in the beginning here because I think they need like free strength to get the new inventory slot here. But we will take these moments. To get some warp stones. I should probably prioritize getting uh, the bigger warp stones because they are fragments and what, let's see what they call them again. Shards and fragment. Yeah, shards is is bigger. Okay, cool. So he's done there. We'll still have some blue pills which we need for movements. So what we can do here? Let's see. I don't think they can reach us yet, but let's get ready for them. I will put him here at the door. So if I will do an ambush stance, if so if someone is coming here, I don't I don't want to do an ambush stance. I'll take that back. Uh, I will leave him there. It works like this that our rats has circles around them. As we, let me show you. There are traps there, and that looks like a trap, so I will just avoid that for a moment. You can see that this is his zone of influence, or whatever we call it. It means that if some of the sisters come through that door, uh, they can't pass that door, so we have blocked that area up. So that is how you do positioning. Okay, let's see. Let's get to some more warp stones. I think I have time for it. It's not that important here in the beginning of the game, but if I can get some free warp stone here. This is our leader, as you we can see at the green uh, red cape I gave him. I think I want to have him safer here. I'm just looking over here. We have two warp guards and one vermicon over there. I think I want to start blocking off this area and swing around here. Because we have some clutter there. That means that we can funnel them down to a tunnel. And uh, that would be easy to fight him, because I know our leader... Does he have a, a shuriken? I don't know. Let's check out. Can I see his... I can't see his... <laughs> I don't know if he has a shuriken and uh, a throwing star. Okay, let's... Let, I don't want the sisters to spot me right yet. So I, I will stay here in dodge stance. And that is, is oh, I lost my train of thoughts here because I'm trying to have a strategy here. So who are you? You are the separated 
thing here. So let's get you back there. We have the wagon. I'm avoiding that because it can be a trap. And then I will go over here. Okay, he can be... Okay, so that means that at least for now, uh, no sister can pass there. So let's get out of here. I think he was inside the building in there. Yeah, so that street is blocked off, at least for an attacks from this angle. And, and there is no... Yeah, I don't know why I did that, because it's not important. But yeah, but we can form up here and we will move in this. The only thing I think I want to have him... I don't want them to kill my leader, so we will start with placing him before there. That means that uh, he will block off our leader, so he will not take any damage. So yeah, let's see what our sisters do. We can to see what they are doing right now. So... My experience with this game, I played... I think I played through half the game before I decided to do this on this channel here. So I'm, I'm familiar with things, but I'm not the expert, so <laughs> forgive me if I do some really stupid stuff here. Okay, the leader is moving right now. It wouldn't be a good thing. I don't think we are too weak to fight them uh, straight ahead. We, we have to be able to separate them if we're gonna win over them. And I think it would be a hard thing because we saw three of them on the map over here yeah and we have a fourth there okay so their hero is moving it's that one we can't see it move on the map as we can't we have, we have to have a visual contact a new round has started we need to have a visual co uh, confirmation to see what they are doing on the map and yes i think i w w went the completely wrong way there Okay, so let's re regret that. Yes, I went totally wrong there. Let's get my blue pills back. Yes. So we have a 78% chance to make this jump, otherwise I can take some damage, but I think our scout can do it. Okay, so at least we have formed up very good here. So... This will be a slaughter for us. I don't think we can out... We need to outmaneuver them. Okay, so... The last time we saw that guy was there, so they seem to be spread out, which is a good thing for us, because we want them to be separated. And they are so strong in melee, which we are not, so we need to outnumber them. So, if they outnumber us, we are screwed. So... Let's leave him here. Okay, that's our night runner. So tempting. Let's see. Do I see anyone visually? Yes, I see one of them there. I think. I want the cluster. I want that big one there. And the reason why uh, I'm maneuvering here is that I don't want to spend uh, blue pills. Why can't I get that one? Let's see if I can get it now. Yeah, so this can be... Oh, I'm inventory full, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's see, check out our situation here. We have one of their henchmen here, a sister. The leader is over there by themselves, so maybe we should... I think we should backtrack. Okay. So I will put him in dodge stance. It means that they have 55% to avoid damage. It also uh, depends on the skill of what we are fighting. And this is a good place to make this play. Then they can't uh, come that way. At least we are blocked that alley off. Okay, so we can fight. If we could get him leader by themselves, we will have a great advantage. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to use BRTL for this. 
Let's scout a bit. Oh, okay, this is also one of the things you have to plan for. I have now blocked off uh, <laughs> this alleyway for my own people here, but I could go around him. We have to be careful in case their leader uh, is in an ambush stance here. So I'm just walking slowly here so we don't get a nasty surprise. She was inside here. Is she still there? Oh yeah, she's over there. Okay, I don't want to fight with the leader alone, so let's be a little bit defensive here. I think I will block this area off. Okay, I don't have... You need two blue pills to be able to... Let's see if I can gain some back. By You can gain some back and get some extra by smart maneuvering here, so I will try to get completely right here and as you can see here now now I have three pills which will make things a little bit easier okay cool so we are at the warp guards okay let's see where we are and I will run back yeah especially here in the beginning of the game there is a lot of maneuvering to do Okay, he will not be able to use anything, but if a rather, instead of our leader, they can attack him instead. She could, she could decide to go through this building here. So, in case of that, I will ambush because, yeah, if she comes that way, I don't, I'm not sure if they can run through that building or not. It's not easy to see on the map. Okay, so there is... I think he has the best view. Okay, it's one of the sisters. Next turn, next uh, in line is... Okay, I can hear that. So they... Oh yeah. is their leader. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Of course he, he... But we got a counter attack here and I have poison on this so hopefully I can... Hopefully I can make some extra damage there. They only got one hit in so that is good news and it looks like we can outnumber their leader here at least. Was you surprised how fast she moved? She moved all this way. I didn't think uh, she would be. A new round has started. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a sister here. So let's see. What can she do? She can come there and fight the warp guard. I think I will. Yes, this is a. Probably a stupid decision, decision here. <laughs> I mean, I just want to block off our rear a bit. Okay, so let's see if we can... Okay, I can get her from here. Let's maneuver slowly. And one of the things, you, when you outnumber them, they have to roll every turn not to freak out. If they freak out, you get three hits of everyone that is currently engaging her, as you can see here on the red line. So we can get two hits here. We missed. I hope she will please hit. Yes, we really want to kill her because that will make things. Okay, so he has two pills for dodging and he's quite decent on that. It's our leader's turn. Okay, so he's engaged there. He has lost a fifth of himself. Well, I think we can get her if we hit her twice. Okay, cool. So one more time, because when it's her, her turn, uh, the poison will act and will give her around 10 damage. Okay, I can kill her outright. Please hit. Okay, I didn't get her. The poison will get her, though, so she is not safe. Okay, so we have you here. So what do we want to do with you? The sister is over there. We still have you outnumbered. I think... 
I'd rather fight with two here in case she comes. I'll probably not be able to engage her, but at least he will not be... So, he's free to move as he's pleased. And I'm thinking, yeah, let's check outside here. Okay, we could kill her, uh, the leader there, but she will die by poison, that's why I'm leaving her alone. I'm thinking of maneuvering him over here with other guys. He can take this place instead. So, we have three rats to fight here. Okay, I can see what she does. I think she went right, that sounds like, that does sound like... Oh, whoa! I think that is one of the heroes. Okay, so we have two there. The leader will die by poison, so yeah, I'm not worried about her. I think we can handle as long as we outnumber them. Nice one. And one of the benefits of being Skaven is that we have very high dodge chances naturally without having to buff us. Okay, cool, so that means... And there, there goes their leader. And if you lo look on the left upper corner on the screen, it means that their morale is on 36. When it reaches 20, it means when if we kill some a new round has started. If we kill some more of them, their uh, morale will go down. So as soon as we go to 20, we have a chance of winning this fight without having to fight everyone. Okay. <laughs> Okay, she didn't manage to dodge, but we don't do a lot of damage here. Um, but we, we are first in turn here, so I'm not worried. I will take the warp guards and attack her. So I'm gonna start working on her. I'm not sure what you are. She has decent dodge. She dodged my attack. And in the upper left, right corner, you can see all the stats what's, while it's happening. I'm often doesn't really look at it, so yeah. Let's dodge here, so... Okay, so we have the leader here. And this is a, a question about position again. If I go with our leader here, it means that he can be attacked again from people running in from outside. They can use... Uh, assault on us and that will not that's but we want her to be outnumbered okay weeping poison uh, worked but i don't think it's enough to kill her this turn okay i think they are separated i think she is completely alone here so she will have to do all alone Okay, so you go over, help your friend. And so once more is about position here, so I'm trying to get as close as possible here. Otherwise, someone can assault me here with a... Yeah, so... Let's see. We don't do a lot of damage here, but I think we... At least he, she has to do a uh, all alone check here. And the stats in, in the beginning of the game is actually... We have a decent chance that she will freak out and run away and then we will get two free hits. Okay, so he's not doing anything here. We could go for... Two. let's check like this. Okay, we have something here. A hero. So... I was thinking about positioning here again. She will definitely be able to reach us in the next turn. And she has a 200 weapons, and it means that she will probably take half our health. But this is the this is the job description for the warp guard with the green capes. So yeah, I will go for it. He will be probably be attacked. But we have 40% chance all alone. She, she passed all alone. The Sisters of Sigmar has really good morale, so uh, they a scaven will probably freak out. And if you okay, she 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 passed her shot too. She missed her, her. Yeah, so they they don't freak out very easy. They have really good morale. 
But that girl over, yeah, that sister is definitely dead next turn at least. I'm just worried about our two-handed friend here. She, ah! oh yeah, she went for our vermicin. Ah! Ouch. That's most of a third of our health. A new round has started. Okay, so he's cornered inside here by two people, so... So, what should we do? We have two targets here. He will not do a lot of damage, and he can't... There is a dis disengage skills, but it doesn't work as he can jump through the wall here. So, let's see... Not do a lot of damage. I pro I think I will go for this one because she is almost dead. And after we killed, after we killed the lone one that is fighting with our night runner, uh, night runner over here. Okay, she's dead. Of course, he dodged. Okay, cool. So if she is dead, it means we can loot her. Let's see. I think he, he, he has a full inventory anyway. But she didn't have anything great anyway. So let's see if we can get out of here and join up with our other guys here. We have... At least we will want to make this hero to have to row. Okay, so they have, we look here on the upper left corner, we need to kill one of them more because they are 27 and we need 20 to freak them out. So let's end our turn here. It means that, let's see if she had something interesting. No. Let's engage her hero. We want her to, to take all alone check. Okay, we have the mount numbered at least. Some weeping poison. I think I will use a rat if I don't kill them. Yes, I need really need to kill that sister that is has low health. So they freak out. And I can only do one hit. So I need to be lucky. If both of them hit, we have a chance of win uh, winning right now. 25 because then we will freak out and root and escape this fight and we will be winning okay come on man we want this nice okay so they are down to 18 morale so they are they will root they have to roll a dice to see if they root i'm just trying to loot here Okay, they are so busy here, so can I pick up some warp stones with you? Because... Okay, so he doesn't have any offense yet, and he's the last one. So I'm thinking, what can we do to make our situation safer? We can warp... <laughs> we can loot warp stones, because I don't see anyone. So... How many pills do you have left, my friend? One? Okay. Okay, so they need to roll, but it, 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 it's not a sure thing that we win that roll. It means if they win the roll, they can continue. Okay, they, they, they won their roll, of course. So we still have to fight them for another... Okay, the weeping poison. And of course she passes your line and it doesn't give her oh man, we have to disengage with him, otherwise he will die. A new round has started. Okay, you can do really much. <laughs> it's puny damage, but it is damage. Everything counts. Let's dodge. Wonder if our night runner can disengage. No, we don't have that option, so we have to kill her. Yeah! She can do damage to us again if she hits our night runner again. He will be sure to be dead. 
Oh, oh. I don't. You, you can't really see gender on the rats. Okay. Okay. Cool, Gant. Please get her. That's nice. Just checking if there is something we can use. There isn't. Is there any warp stones left to us to loot? Because I'm quite sure we will be safe. Because I have two of my friends. Let's check how much she has. Let's go down. He can take one loot warp stone. So let's get that. And I will use my warp guards to protect our leader here I will place, place them in front of him so he doesn't get a, too, a nasty surprise here we don't want that okay so let's just I'm just gonna check because we have movements left I don't see them here I think we would, would win this turn I think it's just one of them left alive so yeah we would probably win so let's le just loot everything we can have Okay, warp is. Let's see. I think you have one spot. One. So this is a really good first mission for us. Uh, we got a lot of warp stones. You, sometimes you don't have time to get warp stones because you're just always engaging the enemy. Okay, let's let's be conservative and place our warp. Uh, guards in front of our leaders which was the plan from the beginning I'm just gonna check if we can loot some more oh he has three okay I will be greedy I will be greedy okay I can loot every, everything here without moving it's just one of them left Okay. Sorry, you never a zone out. I was just thinking, yeah, yes, he has one left. So we got four extra warp stones. At least that is a good thing that uh, they, we didn't. Okay, you can be. Okay, there was our first trap. So it's not a big deal. Okay, let's see if she managed uh, to. Yes, we won. Uh, she escaped, which was. Well, 6 of 52 that's okay so this was a really good first mission for us here we got 10 fragments and four shards yes okay cool brave bold warband is sneaky strong fetch find much word stone Hilch will squeak speak to murder lord tell him much much warband climb sneak high far oh yeah so they were happy so we got experience for our yeah most and we, every rat came away without any damage or anything critical hits can actually cause damage to even the, what happens you know, when you kill the enemy is they will be out of action and then you have to take a role what happens to that warrior sometimes it will give you disadvantages they lose his limbs and arms or they become stupid which they have to do a stupidity role every turn otherwise they will just stand and look around like a stupid person so yep yeah, we got a lot of xp here surviving so let's see what loot we got we got some money too. Yeah, so yeah, that was a really good haul. Okay, cool. So now I changed over for the mouse, mouse part of the game. So we need to pay our warband. It's quite cheap here in the beginning. And I start with a lot of money because you get, you have veterans, uh, veteran points and skills. So if you play the game a lot, you get some advantages when you start a new game. So yeah, that's why I have so much money. So if you are playing this game for the first time and don't have as much money as me, that's because why. Okay, so let's see here. We have a leader here. Uh, I want to make my leader range. So we will 
level his ballistic skills. As you can see, uh, this does over there, so it will raise his damage with 3%. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. We have a Night Runner here. I think I will go. I think we'll go really the same route with him, so I have two bas ballistic things, so I will use those two. And let's see here. And we have our warp guards, so one of the reasons why we want to le level weapon skills is that we increase their parry chance with four. His parry is currently at 26, so, it's a tw uh, so we have raised that to 30% chance, uh, so it means that it will be the same as dodging for him. And the good thing with parry is that you can get a counter-attack. So that's why I choose it to do it like that. And the same for him, he didn't get any skill points. And he either... Okay, cool, so... Let's check the shop. Oh, we have some things here, so okay, let's... Now we got some stuff here, so let's get... You... As I said before, it takes two red pills to do one attack and uh, he can do a second one, so it's better to, to, for him to hit hard at once, but it means that we will uh, not using the shield, but it's okay, because we will do more damage, it will help us more here, so this is a halberd, a two-handed weapon, special for Skaven. So yes, that will make make his damage a lot more. As you can see, it's for 40 to 46. I think it's around 15 to 22 otherwise. So yeah, he will kill people a lot more. So cool. Is there something else for us to do? I don't think so, because we don't... Let's check the story. It's easier to check here. As Okay, so this is all the things we have here. We have some warp lock pistols. So let's go here. To use the warp lock pistol, you need three uh, red pills. So let's go to our leader. If he uses the warp uh, pistol, he can only shoot one time. And it takes around, I don't remember how much it takes, but yes, yeah, so for now, it's not a good idea to equip pistol uh, until he can shoot twice but to be sure that we don't lose them I don't remember if the store despawn or not so we will get I will get them for the future anyway helmets definitely so let's get it to our warp guard I want to give him the helmet here Let's upgrade him here. It will give he does it doesn't have any armor. If you equip armor, it means that he will become slower. And this is meters, so he can move eight meters. If we equip heavy armor, he can maybe just move six meters per pill, uh, blue pill there. So let's give him. We want to give you the helmet. I think it's this slot. Okay, that will give him. <laughs> uh, let's see, 5% protection, it's at least is some protection, was there any more? Let's just check the other warp guard here. We have Shuriken, so we have our leader, he can uh, throw Shurikens, takes two red pills to cast uh, or throw, so he can throw it two times. But at the moment, I think he's more valuable with his sweeping blades. We will probably, yeah, we will stay for those there. Maybe our Night Runner. He's more valuable for the moment with his claws because, yeah, he can do a lot of damage. But we will definitely uh, level them in ballistic instead of weapon skills and otherwise. So, yeah. So let's go to the next day. New shipment request arrived. Okay, so now we have started. It means we have a shipping request. And we have a weight of 31 warp stones in weight. And how much... Let's check how much Murder Lord Snicket wants to have. Okay, so he only wants 75. So we're in our first mission, 
we got so much for that so that's really good for us we have 10 days to uh 10 days before we uh, otherwise we will have to do it over again and we will get a percentage and it, we will have to maybe get 150 or something like that so we, will, we, we i don't think we have to worry about that yet so we have 10 days so every day yeah so you can send it on the last day without punishment or anything so we are we are in good shape so yeah that was everything for this episode and as always thank you for watching